I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Ram Krishnan. He is the Chief Operating Officer at Emerson. Ram, it is wonderful to have you here today. Thanks for joining me. Great to be here. Thank you. All right, so Ram, you've made some big announcements in the past several months designed to focus on the company's portfolio on automation solutions. What's driving this transformation? Well, I think the, the company has been repositioning for a while and we're fundamentally transforming ourselves into a pure play automation company for the long-term dynamics of the growth opportunities that we see driven by the mega trends that automation offers. Digital transformation, energy security and affordability, digital transformation trends that will translate to sustainability and decarbonization as well as nearshoring opportunities. And this has been a proactive move that the leadership team has been making to transform Emerson into a faster growth, higher margin, technology focused company that is exposed to these mega trends. So a lot of exciting stuff underway today. We had our investor day as a leadership team. Uh, the first investor day since Laura Kersenbay took over as chief executive officer uh, in Feb of 2021 and laid out this plan to transform the company into pure play automation. Very exciting. We have a leadership position across process, hybrid and discrete end markets with lots of opportunity to scale the company organically and inorganically with innovation at the forefront of our value creation lever. Okay, so now as your portfolio strategy evolves, there's also been talk about the need for a cultural transformation. What does that mean for the future of talent at Emerson? Yeah, so the culture transformation is absolutely important to fuel this transformation that's underway as a company. Uh, we are modernizing our culture in order to enable Emerson to grow faster, accelerate innovation, and deliver on our commitments. And this will mean a holistic approach to how we approach culture as a transformational play within the company. Um, you know, things like diversity, equity, and inclusion, very, very important, setting an inclusive environment, certainly trusting and empowering our people to take on risk to drive innovation, very critical to us as well. And at the end of the day, this is all about making sure that we can attract and retain the best talent, which is going to be so fundamental in this transformation journey. And that's what we're most excited about. Our first chief people officer was appointed, Elizabeth Adafoyi, came in from the outside, first outside appointment in a long time at Emerson at the C-suite level, and she is driving this fundamental culture transformation with the support of Lal Kirsten by our CEO and the whole operating team. So very excited about this journey and a lot of progress in front of us. Okay, well you also have a new chief technology officer that's joining the executive team. What does that mean for your innovation strategy going forward? Yeah, so innovation for us as an automation company is a critical lever to fundamentally transform the underlying growth performance of the company. Uh, we've innovated before, we've transformed the industry in many ways, and I think we see an opportunity to do it again in the industrial automation space. But for that to happen, a programmatic approach to innovation is gonna be very important, which means the culture aspect, new processes, as well as addressing the talent side of it. And appointing a chief technology officer, our first appointment since 2014, we haven't had that position, but for this pure play automation company is a critical position for somebody who can work with the businesses and drive a programmatic approach to innovation, which is going to be very critical. Help us understand where we invest in R&D, what are the technology bets that we take, how do we uh, you know, transform the processes that we use within the company to scale R&D. So we're very excited about that. I think uh, new product vitality, which is the contribution from new products in terms of what portion of our sales mix is driven by new products that we launched in the last five years is going to be a metric we drive. We're going to really focus in on R&D investment and capture that. So a lot of things from a processes perspective will be very important and that'll be the role of the new chief technology officer. Okay. Well, Ram, wonderful to have you on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.